Okay, so I changed the dice um, on the snap press so that I could flatten out where I didn't push hard enough before. And why I didn't get it pushed down hard enough before is I seem to do better when I'm standing. Um, there is uh, quite a bit of pressure in the spring load, but if you're standing, you can really get down on it and flatten those right out. So you want them flat or they're not going to snap. Um, I'm using a size 16 snap, by the way. Um, the website recommends you could use a size 14 for this ribbon. But since these aren't a big uh, requested item, I like to use just what I have on hand. Um, and they suggest a size 14 ribbon just because it is a shorter uh, a shorter uh, stem on the socket. I'm sorry, the cap. Because they all take the same size. And you can see it's just uh, the same size and the part here is a little bit shorter on that. So I've got myself threaded properly here. And what I did was you just turn it the way that you want it to um, be presented. And again, I like to do that fold under a little bit to hide my salvage end so that it's all loaded. And you just want to run that through the machine. I don't recommend using a snap at this point because you don't want it to fall off and get to be a mouth toy for a baby. It is small enough to fit through a toilet port paper roll, so it could be a choking hazard. And just trim your threads close to the fabric. And you can do this also with fabric as well as ribbons. But with the fabric you have to either cut two pieces or turn them and then top stitch. And that's a lot more work than I want to do. Um, you know, it's a, an item that can get lost or wear out and break, as all items do. Now with this cam snap pacifier holder, you just clip down onto the clothing and then you push this down to lock it. And there is your finished pacifier holder. These are some others that I've done, as you can see. Same, same process. Put the snap on. And then you can just sew on your clip on the end. These are the black cam snap pacifier clips and I will show you with how about this blue one how to sew another one again you just load it to top stitch it fold under that end this is look a little bit silly because I have white thread in my machine but loaded into the machine now. I like to start with a needle down and because I'm using a mechanical sewing machine I don't have the automatic needle down. Set it at about a two, two and a half. Um, and I keep saying inch, it's not. It's just a number setting on the machine. Get that needle up like my home ec teacher taught me. Always end with your needle up in the highest position. It seems to always help with it. Getting out of the machine as far as the bobbin and everything. And cut those threads as close as you can again. You've done the stay stitching so you don't have any tails that you have to worry about. Got one little thread here. And there's pacifier clip number two. Thanks for watching, everybody.